Happy New Year, everybody. I am expecting wonderful things for this coming year and hope for wonderful things for you, each one of you, this coming year. As we start off this year of 2017, I think it might be worthwhile to just think a little bit about love as we start off this year. You know, love is the true antidote to fear. It's the antidote to hatred. It's one of those things that really makes life worth living. So let's take just a couple minutes here to think about love. And I'd like to start by reading from the great chapter on love, uh, which the Apostle Paul wrote um, in 1 Corinthians 13. And you can get your Bible or your phone and pull it up. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I'm nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. We who follow Jesus should be known most for our love. And many times in the past, those who follow Jesus were known for their incredible love. The true believers were the ones who picked up starving, abandoned children in cities all over the world. They were the ones who nursed the victims of the blank death. It's been our legacy since the time of Jesus. But every generation has to decide again to make that their legacy, to make that the way they live. And the thing about this that the apostle tells us is that without love, everything else ends up empty, as if nothing. No matter how heroic you may be, if you don't have love, what's the good of it? Love, he says, is what actually lasts. When everything else is wiped away in the dust of death and history, what remains still is love. On this first day of the new year, we need to remember that time is passing away. So let us invest the little time that we have, in the, especially in this coming year, in becoming more loving. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean when I say that, let's just devote ourselves to being nice people. True love is not some sort of soft and weak, uh, you know, isn't everybody nice kind of thing. It's not something that is uh, just happy-go-lucky, get along with everybody, be nice. Actually, true love is forceful, true, persistent, sometimes even leads us into dangerous and difficult places. The apostle tells us what that love looks like. And if you think about it, love is patient, love is kind, not proud, not self-seeking, not easily angered, keeps no record of wrongs. It's actually not that easy in real life with real people. You know, real people don't always make it that easy to love them. It can be challenging to actually live in love, to be one who always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. So maybe 
a good exercise to start with might be like, give yourself a little self-examination. Look at the list. Love is patient. Am I patient? Have I been patient? Are there people I need to be more patient with? Love is kind. Have I been kind? Do I need to be more kind? Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. How am I on that front? You know, do I get upset when other people do well and that's not me? Am I like overly concerned about myself? It says, love is not self-seeking. Hmm, how about me? Not easily angered. Hmm. And so on. So you just, you know, take the list, look at it in your Bible, and just kind of give yourself a little self-test. You don't have to tell anybody, but check yourself out. Then figure out, okay, what are the top two or three places where I'm a little weak on the love thing? And pray about it. Where you're, where you're struggling, where it's effort to be loving. And of course it's going to be that way because love is not easy. Take that thing and pray about it. Ask God, like, you know, in this year to come, God, could you help me be less easily angered or whatever it might be? Help me with this part of it. And ask Jesus to give you his love. Because obviously the more you receive his love in your life, the easier it is to give love away to others. Ask Jesus to give you opportunities to practice in love, especially on the parts where you're weak and you're struggling. Let's let that be what we think about as we're beginning this new year. We're actually going to be doing a series this January about God's call to love and how challenging it actually is to really love all the people and all the things that he calls us to love. But we're going to be thinking about love, so this is a good way to start. Check yourself out. Ask Jesus to help you. Give this year between you and God to becoming a more loving person.